Hello, hello friends. I'm Kate and this is a yoga sculpt class. We're gonna turn up the heat in this class. We're gonna tone our entire body. We are gonna create endurance in our mind and we are gonna have some fun. So if you practice this and you have fun and you like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna practice more yoga classes together and let's go ahead and get started. All right, friends, let's go ahead and start in an easy seat on our mat. So find a comfortable seat. Maybe that's a block under your body or a meditation cushion. That's fine. We'll just be here for a few breaths. Press down into the mat with your sit bones. Find that long, long spine. Sit up tall in the neck. Gentle tuck of the chin for integrity. Maybe you close down the eyes. On your next inhale, shrug your shoulders up to your ears. And exhale them down your back. Inhale your shoulders up to your ear. And exhale them down your back like they're flowing down a waterfall. Two more times, even bigger now. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale all the way down and leave them there. Feel a lot of space between your shoulders and your ears. Even just with one simple movement, feeling a little bit extra space in our body. Then bring your right hand to the mat. Inhale your left arm up and over for a lateral stretch. Make it easy. We're just flowing with our breath here. Inhale through center, left hand plants. Exhale, right arm comes up and over. That's the move. So we inhale through center. Exhale, up and over. Inhale through center. Exhale, up and over. Really reach through your hand that's moving. Arch up and over like a rainbow so you get into the side body. And continue on with your breath here. Now in today's class... I want you to find playfulness. I want you to add on postures or add on strength training drills or continue on with things if you like them, if something is too challenging for you or it's just not, you're just not feeling it today, that's totally fine. I think the truest form of yoga is when you can tap into what you need today, which is different from other days, and make that part of your practice. So I am just a guide. You can make your practice yours. One more time, each side, reach up and over. Inhale through center, exhale to the other side. Come up to center and we'll roll over our knees into a tabletop position. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We'll take a few cat cows, just warm up our spine. So inhale, look up, tummy drops, tailbones rise towards the sky. Exhale, chin to chest, the top of your spine points towards the front of the room, arch through every vertebrae. Inhale, look up, tummy drops, tailbone rises. Exhale, round through every vertebrae of the back. With your breath now on your inhale, you look up. And on your exhale, you round. And maybe next time you inhale and look up, shine your chest through the gateway of your arms. See if you could pull it through a little bit more. Nice. A few more here. And come to neutral. And in this tabletop position, we're going to lift our right leg up, just pointing out straight from the back. And we're going to take taps. So tap down and up, down and up down and up. Keep your hips squared off to the mat, so keep your right hip bone down 
And then squeeze your glute at the top, and at the same time, pull your right leg back. So you're really trying to reach back with your toes for three, two, one. Keep it up in the air, and we're gonna take push-ups here. So bring your hands back to your body if you want a little bit less intense, or bring them out if you want them a little bit more intense. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. For four, for three, for two, for one. Beautiful, bring the right leg down, taps with the left, so bring the left leg up, tap, up, tap, up, tap. Keep the left hip bone down. Squeeze the glutes at the top. And point the toes back behind you. Really reach the left leg back. For five, four, three. Keep the navel in for two, for one. Hold at the top push-ups now. So down, up, down. Up, keep the elbows near the ribs. Bring the hands back if you want a little bit less weight. For four, for three, for two, for one. Beautiful. Bring the left knee down. Walk the hands out. Walk the feet out. Plank. So before we even move here, draw your hip bones up towards your ribs. So you're a hollow body and you're pressing the floor away. And we're gonna take, take plank jacks. So you can step it out. I wouldn't go off your mat, sometimes it's a little bit slippery unless you're on a carpet. And then step them back in, or you can jump. And we'll start now. So keep a really cut, tight core. Really knit your hip bones up towards your ribs. Press the mat away. Be easy with the face, maybe even smile, getting the heart rate up. For five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Walk both hands in so thumbs are touching, and we'll do shoulder taps. So tap your left shoulder with your right hand, your right shoulder with your left hand. Tap, tap, tap. Try to keep your hips even here so you're not swaying too much. You're really gonna have to push the mat away to stabilize and engage the core as always. For five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, come down to forearm plank, keeping it fiery right away. And we'll inhale, just shift up in your plank. Exhale, come back. Just mo little movement here. Inhale, rock up. Exhale back, inhale, rock up, exhale back. Two more, rock up, back, rock up, back. Nice, lower all the way down onto the floor. We're gonna bring our elbows at 90 degrees and come into a cobra pose. So zip up the legs, all 10 toes are pressing into the mat. <sighs> Lift and lengthen through your spine. Find a really long neck. And pull your chest through the gateway of your arms so it's shining forward. Breathe here. And we'll add on a little movement. So with control, kick up your right knee into your glute and look up over your left shoulder. And release, kick up your left leg, look up over your right shoulder. Nice. Kick up with the right, look over the left. Kick up with the left, look over the right. Find a few more of these. See if you can slowly start to increase your range of motion because we're contracting our hamstrings, we're using the strength of our hamstrings here. Warming up the entire body. Whew. Nice, then reset, come back into your cobra pose. And then reach your arms long. We'll take locust pulses with our breath. So everything on the mat, release all the air out of your body, and then big inhale, Legs rise, knees rise, hands rise. Exhale, lower. 
Inhale, knees rise, feet rise, hands rise, locust pose. Exhale, lower. Three more times. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Squeeze up just a little bit higher. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, rise a little bit higher. Exhale, lower. Take a breath. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Press up through the tabletop. Tuck the toes and send the hips up and back to downward dog. Pedal it out. A little warm already. So inhale up to tiptoes. Exhale, lower the heels down. Inhale to tiptoes. Lower the heels down. One more time. Inhale to tiptoes, but stay here. And then slowly, with many, many steps, walk up to meet your hands. <sighs> stay on tiptoes when you get there. Really use your core to forward fold in. Maybe you raise your right hand up. Maybe you raise your left hand up. And lower your heels. Whew. Roll all the way up to standing. <sighs> Raise both arms overhead on your inhale. Step the feet as wide as the mat. Toes wide, heels in. And exhale, lower down for a squat. Then up. Squat. Then up. Down. Up. Down. Down, up, powerful legs, keep going. Down, up, down, up, for four, for three, for two, for one. Beautiful, exhale, forward fold, even with your wide legs. Inhale to the half lift. Exhale, step back to plank, knees on or off the mat. Exhale, lower all the way or halfway down. Inhale to cobra or up dog. And exhale, down dog. So pay attention to this next sequencing, it's a fun one. So inhale, right leg up or pulse at the top for a little bit of active flexibility. Squeeze the glutes, pulse for five, four, three, Two, one, then exhale, step it to the outside of your right hand, lift the right hand, left hand stays planted. Kick the left leg through in between your hand and your leg so it's in front of you. Squeeze the core, hold it up, and then exhale, send it back, step it backwards. Pause here. Your left hand is planted. Inhale, your right hand up, peel it up. Lunge, twist. Then inhale your arm straight overhead to the front of the room. Exhale it in. Our front arm, elbow meets the back knee, crunch it in. Then inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach. For three, for two. For one, beautiful. Let the back knee meet the ground, untuck the back toe. Inhale, both arms up, low lunge, Anjane Asana. Grab either elbow and reach your sternum up towards the sky. Take a little bit of a back bend, but keep your eyebrows down. Keep the face relaxed here. Breathe. Exhale through cactus, both hands meet the mat. Tuck the back toe, send the right foot back to meet the left foot, but bring all your weight over onto the left side, so a left side plank. Arch up and over like a rainbow. Bring your right toe to your left knee, so a tree plank. Feel free to stay here or tap the mat in front of your leg, tap the mat in back. Tap the mat in front, tap the leg in back. 
four, three, two, one. Set the foot behind you, dip the hips to the floor, and then inhale, press up into wild thing. Hips rise, expand in all directions. Inhale through your side plank, come back to normal plank, and we'll take mountain climbers nice and slow for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Knees on or off the mat. Exhale through your chaturanga. Inhale to an up dog. Shine the chest forward. And exhale down dog. Beautiful. Inhale your left leg up. Squeeze the glutes. Pulses at the top for five, four, three, two, one. Watch out for the kick through. Step your left foot outside of your left hand. Pick up the left hand. The right foot cooks, kicks through to the front of the room. Hold it up. Squeeze the core. Exhale. Send it back behind you. Right hand plants. Left hand peels open. Lunge. Twist. And then inhale your left arm straight overhead. And we're going to take those crunches. So bring your elbow into your navel, your knee into your elbow. Crunch. Inhale, expand. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, expand. Crunch it in. Expand. Crunch it in. Expand. For three. For two. For one. Back knee meets the mat. Inhale, both arms up to the sky. Grab either elbow. Scoop the heart center skyward. Take a little bit of the back bend. Keep your eyebrows down here. Neutral face. And then exhale, both hands down inside your left foot. Tuck the back toe. Step the left foot back on top of the right foot. Side plank. Option to stay here, come to a tree side plank with the toes pointed at the knees or taps. Tap the front, tap behind your leg, tap in front of your leg, tap behind your leg for four, three, two, one. Foot lands behind you, dip the hips down, and then inhale the hips up, press up, wild thing. Expand in all directions. Let it fill your chest with joy. Inhale back through a side plank. With control, come back to a regular plank. Slow mountain climbers for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Press right back to downward dog this time. Three breaths here. Beautiful, reset, come back to your breath. Feel the heat, own the heat. Come up to your tiptoes and take many steps to meet your hands. Try it again now that we have a little bit more core engagement. Raise your right hand up. Maybe raise your left hand up. Still on those tiptoes. And then lower them down. Roll all the way up to standing. Inhale, both arms up. Step your feet wide, toes out, heels in. Squats, lower, rise, lower, rise. Powerful legs, squeeze the top of your glutes. Lower, rise, lower, rise. For four, for three, for two, for one, swan dive forward with open legs. Inhale to a half lift. See if you could do a jump back chaturanga. Exhale, jump back or step back, lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. We'll find that same sequence, same pace. Inhale the right leg up, squeeze, pulses at the top for five, four, Three, two, one. Step the right leg outside of the right hand. Pick up the right hand. Kick the left leg in between. 
and send it back. Reach the right arm up, peel it up, then reach it forward. We'll take crunches, bring the knee and elbow in between. Reach, crunch, reach, crunch for four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Bring the back knee down, both arms reach up, grab either elbow, take a little back bend, breathe into the chest. And exhale, both arms down. Step your right foot back on top of the left foot, plank on the left side. You can keep the plank here, find a tree plank, or take taps to the front, to the back, to the front, to the back, to the front, to the back. Let the, the foot land, dip the hips, Inhale, press into the feet, squeeze the glutes, wild thing. Expand. Come back into a regular plank, slow mountain climbers for 10, 9, 8, 7, navel in, 6, 5, press the mat away, 3, 2, 1. With knees on or off the mat, lower through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale. Down dog. Right away, inhale the left leg up, taps or pulses at the top for five, four, three, two, one. Step the left foot outside of the left hand, raise the left hand up, right leg kicks in between, squeeze the core, bring it up, and then send it back behind you. Peel open for a lunge twist, right hand on the mat, left hand reaches up. On the inhale, left arm reaches forward, same crunches, elbow and knee meet under the body. Inhale, expand, exhale, crunch, inhale, expand, exhale, crunch, inhale, expand for four, for three, for two, for one, beautiful back knee meets the mat. Inhale, both arms up. Grab either elbow, sink into the lunge and scoop the heart center skyward. Keep an easy face here. Exhale, both hands down to the inside of your left foot. Tuck the back foot, lift the back knee. Step the left foot on top of the right foot, plank. Take tree plank with your left toes pointed at your knee or taps on either side, but you know where we're going. Tap, 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 and your foot in the back, dip the hips, and inhale, scoop them skyward, wild thing. Be free here, let it bring you ease, a little joy. Reset into a side plank. Roll into middle plank. Mountain climbers, nice and slow for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Step the right foot in between your front hands. Straighten both legs and fold into the middle. Prasarita, wide-legged forward fold. Catch your breath here. Come back to the long, slow breathing. See if you can re-oxygenate, energize your blood. Breathe deeper than before. Slower and deeper. Bring the energy to the pinky side of the toe. Grab your ankles or your calves, pull yourself in deeper. Try to get your chest towards the floor. Elongate through the back hamstrings. And then rebrand your front leg. Take it to the open end of the mat and step your left foot up to the side of the mat as well. Sit low in a yogi squat. Take a breath here. Find that long spine. Breathe. And 
then sit down. And we'll come right into Navasana. So boat pose, bring the legs parallel to the floor. Legs can be bent or they can be straight at an angle. And we'll take Navasana tap. So you can be supported with hands behind you or out in front. And we're actually going to lengthen our leg all the way as we tap. So straighten the right leg, bring it down to the floor. Then straighten the left leg, bring it down to the floor. We'll do 10. So right leg for one, left leg for two, right for three, four, navel in towards the spine, five, six, broad with the chest for seven, eight, nine, 10, and lower slowly down for three, two, one. Beautiful, do eagle crunches here. So your right leg over your left leg and your left arm under your right arm. On your inhale, reach up with your arms, reach down with your legs, and on your exhale, crunch in. We'll do 10 each side. So 10, nine, eight, seven, really crunch in, six, five, four, three, two, one, beautiful. Release them both up to the sky. Bring your left leg over your right leg, your right arm under your left arm. Reach your arms high, reach your legs out long. Exhale, inhale, and then exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, expand. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, expand. Exhale, crunch. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Place the feet flat on the floor. Use your core to raise your upper body up. Plant your hands, your fingers are facing back towards your toes, and inhale your hips up. Reverse tabletop. We'll find movements here, so lower them down, just a gentle tap on the floor, then raise them up. Lower them down, then up, down, then up, down, up. Last one, and then pulses. Pulse, 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 pulse. Five taps, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Hold and pulses for five, four, three, two, one. Stretch the legs long or hold in a bent knee tabletop. If your legs are straight, feel free to release the head back, but squeeze the glutes, raise the hips. Beautiful, lower all the way down. Take a moment. Scoop back on your mat if you're a little bit off it. We'll take our right foot into our inner thigh and our left leg is out long. We'll inhale to a really long spine and exhale, fold it in. Let the inhale bring you up. Plant the right hand by the right hip. Press into both feet. Raise the hips up and reach the left arm back. Expand. Let it be a heart opener, a little bit of a back bend. Exhale, lower and fold. Inhale, rise. Hips rise. Reach your left arm back. Exhale, lower and fold. One more time. Inhale brings you up. Raise the hips. Reach back with the left hand. Expand in all directions. And exhale. Fold. Beautiful. Switch out the legs. Right leg out long. Left foot by your inner thigh. Inhale to that really long spine, and then exhale, fold it in. <sighs> Inhale brings you up. Plant the left hand by the left hip. Hips rise and reach the right hand back in space. Expand. Exhale brings you down with control and fold. 
Inhale brings you up, hips rise, expand and reach back. Exhale, fold. Let it be like an ocean wave. Inhale, reach up, hips rise, expand. Exhale, fold. One more time, feel into it. Inhale, come up. Reach back, exhale, fold, beautiful, come up to sitting, bring both feet on the mat, and we'll lower onto the mat, onto our backs for five, four, three, two, hover for just a second, super engaged with the abs, hollow body here, and then lower all the way down. Left leg is long. Inhale the right knee into your chest. I'm going to take my ponytail out. It doesn't always work when you're on your back. And then bring your right knee over to the left side of your body for a twist. Keep the right shoulder on the floor. Reach your arm out. Slow it down. Beautiful. Easy does it as we come back. Bring the knee into the chest. Bring your left foot flat on the floor. Set yourself up for a reclined figure four and breathe your knee up. So this is a reclined pigeon. You can bring it as deep as you'd like. And to deepen a little bit more, you can straighten your left leg, flex your foot, and pull it in. Nicely done, re-bend the leg if you have it straight and release it all onto the ground. Straighten the right leg, inhale the left knee into the chest, give it a squeeze, and then take it on over to the right side. Your left arm peels open. Nice twist here. Let your shoulders be heavy and rest back onto the mat. And then inhale your knee into your chest. Bring your right foot onto the floor, setting up for a figure four, and inhale it all in, taking it as deep as you'd like to today. Maybe you extend your right leg and pull it in a little bit deeper. Nice, finding softness here now. Relaxing the eyebrows down. Relaxing the space between the eyebrows. Relax the space around the eyes. Maybe let the sides of the lips turn up a little bit. Release the jaw, the throat. Release the right foot back down onto the mat. Take bottoms of the feet together, so soup the Baddha Konasana. Bring one hand to your navel, the other to your heart. And feel free to stay here as long as you would like and melt into the ground. If you feel like you're very warm and you want to take some deeper stretches to increase your mobility and flexibility, I have some classes for that, including yin classes, which would be a perfect finisher for a class like this. All my love and prayer hands at the third eye. Namaste, my friends. 
I will see you soon.